MIT had women from its almost its earliest days in, in the 1860s, but never had very many, in part because it wasn't something that was pushed on, on girls, but in part because there was no housing for women on the campus. In the 1960s, for the first time, a girls' dorm had been built, thanks to the generosity of one of the early co-eds, Catherine Dexter McCormick. She gave money to build a dormitory for women. The first, first tower of McCormick Hall, and eventually she doubled it and, it, and it became twice the size. That enabled the percentage of women to increase by 1970 to about 10 percent, almost 100 in a class. God bless Mrs. McCormick. She gave Killian some money when she passed. It enabled more women to come. After all, it used to be five or six times harder to be a woman here, simply because there were lots more women applicants than there were men applicants, percentage-wise, uh, who didn't get admitted, and you really had to be brilliant. It was a wonderful dorm, and I loved hanging out in it and meeting other women, and I still have very close friends from my classmates and girls I met in the dorm who were ahead of me and behind me at MIT. And of course it made all the difference to have women on the campus and it's made all the difference ever since.